What is a dip dab? If you aren't British, let's find out in today's autopsy and history of dip dab. The makers of dip dab are Barrett and Company, which traces its roots back to 1852 with George Barrett, whose company is credited with not only being the first to sell candy in branded and labeled boxes, but also to sell candy that was affordable to the average person. To which the king responded, quote, but I don't want to share, wah, close quote. By the early 1900s, their success made them the biggest candy manufacturer in the world, and this was around the time their big hits started coming out like Fruit Salad, which isn't what you think, and The Sherbet Fountain, which is exactly what you think. In 1935 came this here Dip Dab, which is a fizzling sherbet powder dip that you dab a strawberry-flavored lolly into. My review? These are simultaneously an improvement and a step down from what we Americans call fun dips. The what we Americans call sherbet powder is really good, but the dipping, as we Americans call lollipop, is what we Americans call bad. It's just a low quality lollipop that becomes tedious to use after a while. If we could combine the powder of this with the dipping stick of a fun dip, Watch out, world. But for now, my rating is 1.5 out of 5 cavities. Let us know your rating in the comments, and hear our full review on our candy review podcast, Candy is Dandy.